You've all heard the question, right? What is the best web hosting? But this usually leads to either a shouting match on a Facebook group or on Reddit posts, right? So today I'll show you guys some of the best web hosting based on our one year web hosting speed result test. We purchased WordPress hosting plans from various web hosts and monitored their progress. We recorded the page speed and uptime for an entire year. For this test, we used Pingdom. Pingdom is a web service that will record the uptime and page speed for a website 24 hours a day. And to make this test fair, we use the same PHP version and the same size starter website on all the domains to make sure this is a fair and accurate test. We use one of the Elementor template kits with contents, colors, a page builder, and several plugins to utilize the web host server to really see what it can do on a live website. I'll be grading these web hosts just like a school, A being the best and F being the worst. Also, it's hard to know exactly what you're getting when you purchase a web hosting plan, right? I'm sure you guys have bought a plan before and you're like, what did I even get in this plan, right? Uh, really quickly, if you guys do wanna jump to the speed results test, we have timestamps in the description. If you guys wanna jump to those results, you guys can go ahead and check that out. But before we begin, let me go ahead and educate you guys a little bit about web hosting. So with every web host, you guys should always be getting specific services that are free and I'll be explaining what those are. Also, you guys might not be familiar with terms like NVMe storage or SSL. So before we even get into the speed results test, let me explain what all these hosting terms mean and clarify them just a little bit. First, let's talk about free services that you should always receive when shopping for web hosting. This includes free SSLs, free emails, free support, free backups, and a money back guarantee. Now, an SSL stands for a secure sockets layer. Companies and businesses need to add an SSL certificate to their website to secure online transactions and keep customer information private and secure. Next are emails. Every company should offer 50 free email accounts. This allows you to create free business emails for your website like daryl at google.com or john at facebook.com. Now let's talk about support. Every website should always offer free support. If you guys see white screens or 404 errors, you guys should always expect your web host to fix these problems, even if it's WordPress related. Next is backups. Now a majority of web hosting companies will automatically create backups just in case something bad happens to your website. You should always ask the host when they create backups and how to access them so you can always back up your website. Lastly, refunds. If you guys are choosing a web host without a refund policy, just run away. This is something every web host should offer to give you a chance to test out their web hosting services. So these are the services that you guys should always be getting when you guys purchase a web hosting plan. But what about bonuses? A good web hosting bonus is a free domain. Others don't offer this, but it can always save you a few bucks if they do. Next, a free CDN. A free CDN will distribute copies of your website to various servers all around the world. This will lead to reduced and low times. They also decrease web traffic to your web server, reduce bandwidth consumption, and they improve the user experience by loading your website faster. Now, a rare freebie that I wanna mention is malware cleanup. Very few web hosting companies offer this and is probably one of the best free services you guys can get when signing up for web hosting. Malware refers to any software developed by cyber criminals, often called hackers, which can steal your data and damage your website, or even sometimes destroy it. Malware removal will get rid of these files and restore your website back to perfect health. When shopping for web hosting, it's always important to look out for those extra services because that might be the edge to convince you to go with those companies. Now, I did mention that you guys might not be familiar with specific terms like NVMe storage and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and clarify what those mean. Basic storage refers mainly to HDD or hard disk drives. HDD drives are slower to load information because they have many moving parts. They are good if you want to store a lot of data, but just keep in mind there are faster hard drives. Next up, SSD. SSD refers to a solid state drive. SSDs are typically faster than HDD because this type of storage contains no moving parts. It also loads information faster than HDD. Lastly, NVMe storage or non-volatile memory express. This is the fastest type of storage. Instead of loading the memory drive into a specific slot, NVMe loads directly from the motherboard. This results in a higher data transfer rate than SSD or HDD drives. Now we have discount codes and links to all of these web hosting companies that we'll be talking about in the description below this video. If you guys do use our link, it does help us out. We do get a small commission and it helps us because these tests do cost us thousands of dollars every year to bring you guys great value. So let me go ahead and introduce you guys to the web hosting companies that we monitored this year. We recorded the speed times and uptimes of these 20 web hosts. 10Web, A2 Hosting, Bluehost, ChemiCloud, DreamHost, Fast Comet, GoDaddy, Green Geeks, Host Armada, Host Gator, Hostinger, Liquid Web, 
Name Hero, Pressable, SiteGround, TMD Hosting, WP Engine, and WPX Hosting. We also tested Cloudways and all the providers such as Amazon AWS, DigitalOcean, and Vulture. So we'll be showcasing the uptime and page speed of all these web hosts. So what's a good uptime? A study done by Dunn and Bradstreet shows that anything above a 99.95% .95 uptime is an acceptable web host and meets the web hosting industry standard. Next is page speed. Google recommends your website should be loading at under two seconds. Anything faster than two seconds meets solid web hosting standards. Now for these tests, we purchased the recommended hosting plan that the company recommends. So the specs of the server won't be 100% the same, but this will give you a general idea about the web hosts. I'll also give you my personal recommendation of web hosting companies to go with at the end of the video. You guys ready? Let's take a look at these web hosting results. First up, Kinsta. Kinsta had an annual uptime of 99.99% with only 24 minutes of downtime. The average load time stood around 1.26 seconds, slightly above one second mark, but that's still very impressive. It's worth noting that their packages might be on the pricier side, which starts at $30 a month. It's a drawback for those on a tight budget or for those just getting started out. We use their starter plan. I would give Kinsa an A rating for its outstanding performance. Next up, Tenweb. Tenweb had a bi-annual uptime of 99.98% with 60 minutes of downtime. Tenweb had an average load time of 921 MS, which is under one second. However, Tenweb is more geared for higher end clients and not really suitable for beginners with their packages starting at just $10 for only one website. We use their AI term business plan. I would give Tenweb a solid A minus. The server stats are good, just not the price. Next, A2 Hosting. A2 Hosting showcased an annual uptime of 99.98% with a downtime of two hours. Their average load time was 2.98 seconds. Though A2 Hosting is known for scalability, the longer load time might be a problem for heavy websites or those requiring instant loading. We use their Turbo Web Hosting plan. Given these factors, A2 Hosting earns a B. They do get points for reliability, but docked for speed. Next, Bluehost. Oh, Bluehost. Bluehost delivered an annual uptime of 99.92%, accompanied by six hours of downtime. The average load time was 6.72 seconds. While Bluehost's pricing is dirt cheap, the slower load times and lower uptime will have a negative impact on site performance and user experience. Bluehost receives a D. Sure, their website might be easy to use, but these results suck. Next, Dreamhost. Dreamhost had an annual uptime of 99.91% with a total of seven hours of downtime. The average load time was at 3.94 seconds. Despite its lower load time, Dreamhost is also known for long delays of support requests. We use their shared starter plan for this test. I would give Dreamhost a C- rating. The service is bad and I don't see any reason to use them. Next, Fast Comet. Fast Comet achieved a six month uptime of 99.97% with only one hour of downtime which is actually not bad. Their average load time clocked in at 3.29 seconds. Although not the fastest, its performance is reliable and the added benefits make it a good choice for small businesses. We use their shared hosting plan for this test. Fast Comet receives a B rating. It is reliable, but its loading time exceeds two seconds. Next, GoDaddy. GoDaddy had an annual uptime of 99.85% with 11 hours of downtime. GoDaddy also had an average load time of 2.97 seconds. We got their web hosting deluxe plan. While GoDaddy does offer a very robust platform for growing businesses, its performance metrics are not what we wanted to see. Nevertheless, they do offer tons of services and they do have phone support. For this, I give GoDaddy a C. It's a so-so web host at best. Next, Green Geeks. Green Geeks impressed me with an annual uptime of 99.98% with only two hours of downtime. It also had an average load time of 2.49 seconds. Combining excellent uptime, decent speed, I would say that they're an attractive option for those looking to get started with their first websites. We use their light shared hosting plan for this test. Green Geeks earns a B. It stands as one of the top choice for beginners just getting started out. Next, HostGator. Over a period of six months, HostGator showed an annual uptime of 99.94% with three hours of downtime. Their average load time was a bit slower at 4.12 seconds. I know these are terrible results, but this is actually better than last year. Last year, they did a lot worse. Although the load times are on the slower side, I would say this makes them a okay option. We use their hatchling plan. I would give HostGator a B minus. They have improved their user reliability and their user panel, but their speed isn't that good either. Next, Hostinger. Hostinger boasted an annual uptime of 99.96% with three hours of downtime. 
and they actually had an impressive load time of 1.32 seconds. With a strong balance of speed, uptime, and cost, I would say Hostinger is an excellent choice for those looking to get started with their website without breaking the bank. We use their WordPress Pro plan for this test. For this good performance and value, I would give them an A. I would say this is a top recommended choice on this list. Next, LiquidWeb. LiquidWeb achieved an annual uptime of 99.98% with only one hours of downtime, with an average load time of 1.38 seconds. We use the Nexus Spark plan. For this kind of quality and performance, it needs a bit of investment. These plans start at around $21 a month. I would give LiquidWeb an A plus for its superior speed and reliability. This is a solid choice for businesses who need top tier managed hosting. Next, Name Hero. Over the span of six months, Name Hero had an annual uptime of 99.98% with only 34 minutes of downtime. This really does showcase their reliability. They managed an average load time of 1.62 seconds and we use their Turbo Cloud plan. This kind of focus on high speed hosting solutions and really good customer service makes them a strong contender. I would give Name Hero a solid A. They have great results for the right price. Next up, Pressable. Pressable is a new company to the list and it really did not disappoint. Pressable had an exceptional six month uptime of 99.99% with only a mere 10 minutes of downtime. They also had an average load time of 1.08 seconds and this is just on their personal plan. Despite having automatic updates and really strong security measures, you need to invest at least $25 a month to get started. However, with these results, I would give Pressable a solid A plus for its outstanding uptime, speed, and WordPress centric features. Next up, SiteGround. SiteGround achieved an annual uptime of 99.99% with just an hour of downtime and an average load time of 1.73 seconds on their Grow Big plan. Though they had a few issues on the previous years with their pricing, they have a range of hosting services that are both reliable and rich in features. This includes daily backups, free CDNs, and managed WordPress hosting. I would give SiteGround a solid A for being a reliable host and a user-friendly solution. Next up, TMD Hosting. TMD Hosting showcased an annual uptime of 99.90% with eight hours of downtime. They also had an average load time of 2.15 seconds using their starter package. Despite lower uptime compared to its peers, TMD does make up for this with competitive pricing, starting at just $2.99 a month. I would give TMD Hosting a solid B. I think they appeal to users who want to be more cost effective. Next, WP Engine. WP Engine had an annual uptime of 99.97% with just two hours of downtime, maintaining an average load time of 1.36 seconds on their startup managed hosting plan. WP Engine has always been a reliable and fast web host, and that's always something to note. I would give WP Engine a solid A. They've always been a great web host with great speeds, great uptime, but they are a little pricey. Next up, WPX Hosting. WPX Hosting had a great annual uptime of 99.99% with only 22 minutes of downtime. They also had an average load time of 1.93 seconds on their business plan. Although their load time is slightly higher compared to some of its competitors, the overall package of services definitely makes them stand out. I would give WPX a solid A. They've always been a solid web host. On all my tests, they've always performed well, no matter what the situation. So next we're gonna be talking about Cloudways. Now, before we begin with Cloudways, I just wanna let you guys know that Cloudways is not suitable for beginners, right? If you guys are brand new to making websites, you know, it's just not for you because you have to migrate your website, you gotta point your domains and you probably will mess something up. I mean, that's just my <laughs> that's just my honest guess, right? So we tested out various servers with Cloudways. So we tested out uh, Amazon AWS, DigitalOcean, Linode, and also Vulture. So in this part of the video, I'll be giving you guys my results of the speed test results from Cloudways. And don't forget, we also have a discount for Cloudways in the description. So if you guys do like the results, you guys can use our code in the description. First, Cloudways AWS. Cloudways leveraged an annual uptime of 99.99% with only three minutes of downtime. They showcased exceptional reliability. The average load time on this platform was 1.45 seconds. Naturally, Cloudways AWS definitely gets an A. They are the perfect solution for enterprise businesses. Next up, Cloudways DigitalOcean. With Cloudways hosting on DigitalOcean, the uptime was 99.99% with only one minute of downtime. The average load time is recorded at 1.59 seconds. DigitalOcean is known for its simplicity and cost effectiveness, making it an excellent choice for startups and medium-sized businesses. I would give Cloudways DigitalOcean an A+. There is no reason not to use it if you are a large enterprise business. Next up, Cloudways Linode. 
Linode also boasts an uptime of 99.99% with only seven minutes of downtime. We also got a load time of 970 MS, which is the fastest among the Cloudways offerings. I would give this hosting a solid A+. It has exceptional speed, consistent uptime, and this is recommended for larger companies. Lastly, Cloudways Vulture. Cloudways hosting on Vulture achieves an annual uptime of 99.99% with an hour of downtime. The average load time was 1.63 seconds. Vulture is recognized for its versatile cloud hosting solutions that cater to pretty much any type of audience. I would give Cloudways Vulture a solid A+. Cloudways Vulture has always been a reliable and scalable cloud hosting service. All right, party people, thank you guys so much for watching our best web hosting video. Now, if you guys are looking for web hosting and you're asking me, Daryl, who should I go with, right? Now, if you guys are on a budget or if it's your first website, I would definitely go with Hostinger. Hostinger is among one of the cheapest shared hosting you guys can get. Also, Known Host and SiteGround are also good choices as well. Now, if you guys have a moderate amount of money and you guys want to invest, I would definitely go with either WPX Hosting. They're a good web host. Also, uh, 10 Web. 10 Web is also pretty good. And lastly, we have obviously Cloudways. Cloudways with the Cloud Vulture plan is like really, really fast. It's a no brainer. So any one of those are good, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it brought a lot of value. You know, I know when you guys go online to look for uh, web hosting reviews, it's just these like crappy affiliates just saying everything is good and it's not, right? We do actually bad mouth some companies in this video. You know, not bad mouth, but just giving our real opinion based off the results that we got, right? So I did hope you guys enjoyed this video. So make sure to like this video and let me know in the comments how we did. My name is Gerald Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.